Hey guys, welcome to this month's podcast. This is Londa Jenkins, student representative of the Green Avenue campus, and I'm Marissa Suse, student representative of the Cypress Street campus. And as you can see, we're wearing our Pinwood shirts, displaying our Pinwood pride. Yes, we are. These are our class shirts, and mine says Kings and Queens of 2016. And mine just has our class number 2015, best class. <laughs> And now, updates. At Green Avenue last month, we mentioned that there were leaks in classrooms. And as soon as I walked into class the next day, my teacher informed me that they were checking on the leaks. So that's a good thing. I'm proud to announce that there are no longer ceiling leaks at the Cypress Street campus. So thank you to Aramark. As far as the bathroom situation, Dr. Cooley and I did speak, and he said that he would definitely talk to the custodial staff, so we always have an ample supply of soap, tissue, etc. And now with the food updates, we now have brownies, funnel cake, sheet cake, and ice cream. So make sure you take advantage of that, especially underclassmen, trust me. Take advantage. What's wrong? I'm bored. Well, I'll cheer you up. Out with the old. In with the new. 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 Okay, so on April 23rd, that's a Wednesday, the Harlem Winters game is coming. So make sure you buy your tickets as Mr. Bruni and Dr. Cooley may be playing. So the doors open at 5.30 and the game will begin at 6.30. So if you guys recall, we had a lot of snow days during that winter, that very yes, long winter. But guess what? We still have our full spring break, which begins on... April 14th to April 18th. So, happy for that. Dance around. Yay, <laughs> spring break. As you may or may not know, we record podcasts every single month and we encourage the students and staff to view them. However, Ms. Hummel, she does watch them and she told us that she really likes them. So we hope that you take your time to view them too. We would just like to extend our thanks to Ms. Bookman, who is the Public Relations Coordinator and Mrs. Hummel, who is one of the board members on the school board. We want to thank you for your comments and support. Yes, thank you so much. Also, we worked our magic in favor of you guys so you can earn extra credit in your English classes. Yay! So all you have to do is submit a legitimate statement to your English teachers and they will submit them to us and then you could possibly earn extra credit. So make sure you write a whole bunch of suggestions. And do that, guys. A few podcasts back, I mentioned that a peer influence group will be coming to Cypress Street. I'm happy to announce that we now have 21 tutors who volunteered. So, all that's left is for you students to begin signing up to be tutored. Tutoring will take place every Tuesday, starting on April 22nd in room 312, so make sure you guys are there. And if this peer influence tutoring group is successful at Cypress Street, I will extend it to Green Avenue and let you guys know the details. There had been a concern that came up about the price of chips at lunch. They were 75 cents, but they should have been 55 cents as they were from the beginning of the school year. But I did talk to Ms. Daniel Blanco, who's the Airmark representative, and she did let me know that the chips are back down to 55 cents. So thank you, Ms. Daniel. Thank you. The FBLA basketball tournament was a success. The winners were the Glory Boys, and the teammates were Naeem Austin, Byron Brickle, Jalon Scott, Aziz, and Landon Jenkins. My brother. Go big brother. <laughs> Congrats to you boys and thank you so much for participating in the FBLA basketball tournament.
A program entitled Who Inspires Me Night was hosted by the track team as their first annual event. There were about 160 people that showed up in the auditorium to see about 25 speakers, including our board members, Mr. Cave, Mrs. Richardson, Mr. Wright, and Mr. Bruni, and our administrator slash wonderful videographer, Mr. Santa. Ms. Christina Holmes, a senior at Pimlin High School, was selected as a Sports Hall of Fame Scholar for the Winter Season Sports by the Delaware County Chapter of the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame. Each year, only six to seven scholar athletes are selected from 27 Delaware County High Schools. Also on Mrs. Christina News, she announced that she will be attending the University of Tulsa, which she had her press conference for. I had the privilege of interviewing Miss Christina Holmes, and here's the video. So I'm here with Christina Holmes, a superstar. She's not only a track runner, but she also plays soccer, and she just announced what school she's going to go to, which is the University of Tulsa in Oklahoma. So Christina, are you excited? Yes, very excited. Um, I dreamed to this day. <laughs> so happy that it finally came true. Couldn't ask for anything better. Is there any advice that you would give students like me? Um, whatever you dream for, I feel as though that you can achieve if you work really hard. Uh, don't give up on anything that you're doing. Okay, so you narrowed down your choices to two schools. Which were they and why did you choose one? I narrowed my two choices down to the University of Arkansas and the University of Tulsa. I chose the University of Tulsa because I felt as though there I was more comfortable. It was a better fit for me. The coach was great and the girls I really got along with. And the University of Arkansas, I felt as the coaching staff was great and it, it was a nice school and I could fit in there, but I felt as though it was a better fit for me at Tulsa. Okay, so that's all for right now because we still have to go to track practice. <laughs> The Rotary Club of Upper Darby and Lansdowne selected Penwood High School seniors Dagmawi Brihanu and Taylor Shaw as the February Student of the Month. Dagmawi is a member of the Speech and Debate Club, No Place for Hate Club, and serves on the Senior Class Committee as President. He is an active member at his church and plans to attend IEP for his social work. Taylor Shaw is a member of the Penwood High School Choir, Tennis Team, Senior Class Committee, and Science Olympiad. She takes advanced placement classes in English literature and composition, calculus, and chemistry. Last year, she received the department award for outstanding achievement in history. She volunteers at the Lansdowne Public Library. She plans to major in pre-veterinarian sciences at the University of Delaware. So congratulations to you both. This month's artwork is done by Jasmine Roberts, who is an 11th grader at the Green Avenue campus. And the title of this piece is called The Shadow. From each campus, we're only going to read one suggestion this month. So for Green Avenue, it was suggested that we have recycling. I think this is a very good suggestion and I would definitely bring it up to the board next month at our meeting because as much paper as we use, we definitely should be recycling it. And a suggestion from Cypress, we should have more field trips. Now I already answered this question in the beginning of this year and I mentioned that Dr. Cooley said after the Keystones, we will be talking about which field trips we are allowed to have. So stay tuned guys. And make sure you focus on your keystones if you're taking them. They're important. Very important. So. If you would like to view our YouTube videos, you can go to the school district website, find the Our Board link, then click on the Student Board Reps link, and you will find a list of our previous videos. Questions and comments can be sent to studentboardreps at wpsd.k12.pa.us. Selected questions will be answered in next month's podcast. The podcast will also air on our on our cable channel WPTV following the broadcast of the monthly business meeting. If you would like to view our podcast directly from the school district website, you can visit us at wpsd.k12.pa.us forward slash 
studentboardreps.html.